Hey, what's up guys? I'm Vincent. Today, I'm going to show you how to do the bank shot consistently. Alright, here we go. So, do you have trouble hitting the bank shot consistently? This is the video for you. In this video, I'm going to address two problems for the bank shot. First, how you should aim on the ball. Second, how to fix the execution of the bank shot. Now, before we start, if you are new in here, consider subscribing. Don't forget to click the bell below so that you don't miss out an episode. First of all, let's talk about how we should aim for the bank shot. What do I mean by that? As you know that to do the bank shot, you want to set up in the center under your two bar. Now, whenever you want to do the bank shot, let's say you want to do it on the far side, you have to cover half of the ball on the near side. So this is what you want to aim for. However, I realize that many players tend to have trouble to aim for the ball. So in other words, it is most likely that you are going to mis-execute the shot. So how could we fix this problem? Actually, there is a very useful indicator that you can use on the table. However, this indicator only applicable on the fireball table. So, how do we aim for it? First of all, take a look of this area. Do you find it similar to the snake shot? It is just the reverse way of the snake shot. Now, what do you want to aim for? As you know that the ball is right under the center of your two bar. Now, let's say if you want to do it do the bank shot on the far side. You want to move this guy all the way to this line. Just like doing the snake shot, you aim for this line, you move this guy all the way to this line. And this is actually more easy for you to aim the ball. You just want to make sure the toe is pointing directly towards this line. Now, in this position, you want to do the execution. And this is how it looks like. So let's say you set up the ball in the center under your two bar. Now you place the guy behind the ball and you want to do the bank shot on the far side. You have to move this guy pointing towards this line. This is actually easier than you aiming the ball. Now, after you move this guy all the way to this line, you want to do the execution and you are going to hit the bank shot consistently. And it is the same for the near side. You just want to move this guy to this line to do the execution. To this line. Another common issue is that you are swinging the guy in the air so that you are going to miss execute the shot. So how can we fix the problem? First of all, we have to identify the problem first. As you know that you are swinging the guy in the air because the guy do not travel up and down vertically. It is traveling to this way or this way. So this is why you are going to swing the guy in the air. Now, the easiest solution to do this is to do practice of the straight of the bank shot. This is what you want to do. You want to do the straight with the open hand grip. And after the shot, you have to make sure this guy is pointing towards the center, the square in the center, to make sure that you don't have any excessive motion during the execution. You want to finish at this spot. Now, to make this practice more challenging, you can actually place two ball right next to the ball in the center. Now, you want to do the straight with your open hand grip and make sure that you are not hitting 
this ball or this ball. So if you are hitting this two ball or any one of them, you have excessive motion. So that's why your bank shot is not consistent. So this is what you want to practice. You just want to do the straight with your open hand grip without hitting these two balls in the center. And actually you can turn this setup into a trick shot challenge. Thanks for watching this episode. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I will see you again next time.